Howdy champs, my name is Mohadan People. Today I'm going to talk about the new HTML5 form attributes. Making uh, life really, really simple uh, really uh, adds a lot of muscle to the uh, forms, HTML5 forms. In fact, let's start off straight away with the browser preview in Google Chrome. Just coming up. All right. Now it's a uh, we have a very small uh, form out here which just has one single text field. And notice that it's already on focus. This border all around the text field, the brown border all around the text field is coming from the autofocus at form attribute. That's been attached to the input uh, text field. Okay, the moment I click anywhere on the web page, you see this uh, brown colored border has uh, disappeared. That's simply because the text field is no longer on focus, it's on blur now. So, that was happening because of the autofocus attribute. Now, you see some text written inside the text field, it says hex codes are always preceded with a hash sign. Now, this is happening because of an attribute called placeholder which allows you some hinting that obviously is not submitted when you hit the submit button so the moment I start typing something you see it actually disappears right in fact momentarily let me go back to my uh, form and notice that I've used the autofocus attribute the required attribute we'll talk about it uh, very soon the placeholder attribute, the pattern attribute, the autocomplete attribute, I've set it to on, uh, the other two options being off and uh, default and I've used the size attribute which is not a new attribute. Right, so they all have been attached to the input uh, text field, autofocus, required placeholder, pattern order complete and size along with title that is kind of giving you a tool tip let me show that to you again okay when I hover over the text field you can see it gives you a tool tip it says enter a six digit hex code right and notice what happens if I don't do anything at all and straight away hit the summit button since uh, we have used the required attribute you're required to fill out this text field it's a mandatory field people and let's say I enter something out here and hit the submit button now you get a message that says please match the requested format so we have requested for a six digit hexadecimal format which is always preceded with the hash sign and then we have six digits that are in the range A to F and 0 to 9 only Th that A to F characters could be either capital or uh, uppercase or lowercase right but uh, you cannot have a character that's beyond the uh, letter F that's how the hexadecimal codes are written okay um, if I actually confine to the uh, the format if I uh, properly follow the format then if I submit uh, the form is gonna accept it now notice the moment I put the hash sign uh, we have a few hexadecimal uh, codes appear that's because we have used the autocomplete feature now you can set it to off uh, in some cases probably uh, you're using uh, some very confidential important information like credit cards credit card numbers right in which case uh, it'll be a good idea to turn the autocomplete feature off so what we're gonna do people is uh, we're gonna look at all this uh, right from the very beginning and we'll try and understand all these uh, new attributes along with some old attributes like title and size too and these are pretty useful right this size attribute increases the width of the text field that we are working in at the moment I deliberately did that so I could see the complete uh, placeholder text inside it okay so people what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna destroy the whole thing 
so basically whatever is inside the body of the document I'm gonna delete it so that I can actually work from scratch and we'll understand the uh, some new and some old attributes very well okay let's say file and a save and let's get going ready for action now uh, making sure that I'm I'm in the design area I'm gonna click out here notice that I'm using the classic workspace people and I'm in the forms tab I'm gonna click on the first icon to insert the opening and closing form tags with the name method and action attributes we're not gonna talk about these attributes uh, at least in this tutorial right thereafter I'm gonna click out here to insert a text field okay make sure that you are in the design area before you actually do that and then let's repeat the uh, step so ID mm, color code or whatever rather let's say hex code right enter the six digit hex code uh, which is gonna be the label that's actually shown to the user this isn't and let's say okay notice the way the code has been inserted so we have label for hex code this is the label the label tag closes out here the input tag opens out here it's self closing people you don't need to actually close it uh, the type is text name is hex code the ID is hex code 2 okay let me go out here after the text field hit enter I also need a submit button people I'm gonna click on this icon to insert a button or a submit button I do not need to put any ID or a label straight away uh, I can say OK and uh, we have a submit button with us very very cool now I'm gonna start adding some old and some new attributes let's add uh, some uh, attributes that we already know for example size I'm gonna keep it 40 that's gonna increase the size or the width of this text field very very cool also notice that this number 40 has been auto populated in the care width uh, down here at the bottom in the properties panel okay next up people I'm gonna add a title which serves as a tooltip so title it says please enter a six digit hex code or whatever you would want to choose yourself as your custom message okay at the same time let's use the placeholder attribute that pops up a code hint inside the text field itself which is actually grayed out and will never be submitted when you submit the form even though it might be empty okay and enter some message out there hex codes are always preceded by the hash sign or oh, whatever you would want to include alright I'm also gonna make sure that this text field is a required text field which means you need to fill it out before you can actually sum it. It's just a mandatory text field. Compulsory to enter some data there. You can't skip it. Okay. And uh, then we will use the autocomplete attribute and we'll set it to on, the other options being off and default. Alrighty. And uh, then yes autofocus so basically on page load the text field this specific text field will gain the focus automatically without you having to click inside so if there were several text fields only this text field will definitely get the focus people alrighty okay so as far as I'm concerned I think I've uh, shown you all the different uh, attributes that we have talked about some of them are actually old some of them are new that have come along with HTML forms 
a case of use the uh, title attribute, the placeholder attribute, the um, and yes, I actually forgot that I need to use the pattern attribute. Now pattern. Now what this does is it makes sure that whatever you are entering inside the text field is as per the laws or as per the requirement that has been specified as per the format that we are looking at a hexadecimal code always starts with the hash sign and has characters either small a to f or big a to f like so right or digits 0 to 9 right and they are six in number so six digits now this is the way you're gonna write your pattern the pattern is basically is looking for a regex or a regular expression it's a very big subject people it's a very very big subject but this is just an example to tell you that the pattern we have specified out here will not allow the user to input anything that is even loosely or remotely not a hex code it will make sure that whatever you are entering inside the text field will only have characters small a to f capital a to f and 0 to 9 and are no more or no less than six digits right so let's check this uh, in action by taking up a preview in Google Chrome now for many of the new attributes people the cross browser compatibility is still not complete I think you need at least IE 10 to see that in action I have IE 9 uh, really not all the uh, you know the attributes work properly out there Safari has some issues too but in future you can expect uh, all these issues to be ironed out right you can check the cross browser compatibility yourself but for the testing purpose I'm only gonna use Google Chrome so let's take up a browser preview alrighty so whatever you see inside the text field which is actually grayed out or dulled is the is coming from the placeholder attribute and when I hover over you see the message which says please enter a six digit hex code is the title alright let me put anything out here let me hit the submit button now you get a message which says please match the requested format that's coming from the pattern attribute that ensures that you cannot enter anything which is not a hex code okay let me try and enter six digits to see whether I can actually do that again it does not confirm to the uh, requirement or the format that we are looking at now I think we should be okay uh, we are allowed to submit it and if there's absolutely nothing in the text field people if I hit the submit button since it's a required text field you get the message which says please fill out this text field and it's actually mandatory to do so it's a compulsory text field alright you see that we have a brown uh, border all around the text field that's simply because let me refresh this simply because uh, it's on focus right and when I click inside you can see that uh, the hex code that I'd already entered pops up out here it's, that's simply because uh, we've used the autocomplete feature or the autocomplete attribute right and the text field as such is a little wider than normal that's because we've used the size attribute people alright so people today we learned how to use the size attribute uh, the placeholder attribute that actually gives you a, a hint as to what should be entered inside the text field we've, we've learned about the required attribute about the autocomplete attribute about the URL focus and the pattern attribute now pattern attribute uh, uses uh, regex and regex is a big wide subject people that may uh, take many many hours or many many days to understand completely alright I've just shown you an example out here so people I hope uh, you found this information useful I hope uh, you'll sub you'll, uh, you'll comment you'll thumb the uh, video up and I'll also hope that you'll keep coming back for more and more tutorials from me you have a good day uh, bye bye peace